Due to an incorrect camera setting, the color of the middle clip shifted into blue. This is a real challenge for the white balance filter. EDIUS 4 shows each step of the correction process in real time on the monitor. This is true with normal video or, as seen here, HDV. Since the color balance of the adjacent clip is correct, we'll use it as reference. You can work intuitively. This is how it's done. Use the cursor to drag the white balance filter onto the clip requiring color correction and then open it in the information palette with a double click. We now need a frame from the neighboring clip to use for color reference. We can choose any frame we want and it doesn't necessarily have to come from a neighboring clip. We lock the chosen frame by activating the left button in the preview box. Now let's return to the clip that requires color correction. The skillful selection of the image details facilitates the compilation of all possible reference ranges. The image details can be adjusted as needed. This way both frames can be intuitively compared. Color tints are particularly noticeable in the middle tones, which in EDIUS are called gray tones. Therefore, we select gray. There are gray tones in the shadows of the hubcap of the yellow car, which are suitable as reference values. Let's try it here with a click. Yes, there's an improvement already, but it's not right yet. For the lights, they are called whites in EDIUS, let's click on the sticker found on the passenger door. Now the light areas of the clip have also been redone. The color correction can also be recognized through the movement of the white node in the color wheel. By repeating this procedure with the blacks, the rest becomes child's play. Now unlock the reference frame. Do you see the enormous difference? The color balance is now finished. You can view the results immediately on the monitor in real time without rendering.